people on YouTube, it's your girl, Kay Selena, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So we are back with another Casey Chats episode four, and I'm glad you guys are loving them. They're going so well so far. And this one is really a game changer. I am really gonna just put y'all on and really put y'all on how to change your life. And I'm excited to let you guys know how to have a happy life, like what to do, prosper, succeed, be the best version of yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm not gonna do so much rambling because we have so much to talk about but please give this video a big thumbs up if you feel you know inspired if you love this types of videos subscribe to my channel if you have not banger after banger I'm so excited for what the future has to come and yeah let's get into the video before we get into the deep stuff let's start off with the surface level things that people should know off the off the jump to feel like you're succeeding to feel like you're doing something to feel like you're accomplishing something you have to like actually do things other than just go to work if, let's say you have a night's five you're waking up you go to work you come from, you come from work and you do your little chores you eat your dinner and then you sleep in and you chilling and you eat, being a couch potato you're just living life relaxing and then going to sleep and then waking up the next morning you have a waste of my life i'm sorry to break it to you but you do if you're like just doing nothing when you come home and going to sleep and waking up the next morning and just having that complete cycle that is the night's five depression because you feel depressed like what is life i have this constant cycle i don't feel nothing changing nothing different same routine on top of that when you have your little two days off you relaxing for them two days off too like you're relaxing too damn much do something you just sitting home eating food and just going to bed every night that's a terrible cycle and that's a nine to five depression to feel happy and to enjoy life you need to be working towards something for yourself this is the harsh truth that you need to wake the hell up and this is going to dictate what, you, what kind of life you want to live. One, you will never get rich off of a nine to five. Sorry, not sorry. That's just not going to happen. You can never get rich working nine to five. That's just that. Two, you will never get rich off of saving. You can save your way to death, but you can never save your way to become a millionaire. That's done. Them times in life is done. That was back in the 18, 1900s. We in the 2000s. Saving ain't really getting you nowhere. And the third one is that there are three choices to live a comfortable life, financially and mentally. And here they are. The first way to live a really comfortable life is to have a high paying nine to five. There's nothing wrong with a nine to five. I'm not against them. But for a high paying nine to five, that's a way to get a comfortable life. Nurse or, uh, nursing, doctors. Um, there's so much other jobs out there that I don't even know about, like probably tech or companies, corporate jobs. Those are, you know, paying really good you're making a lot of money those are nine to fives but they're, they're paying above average like drastically above average um if you did not go to schooling it's going to be a little bit harder to get those but it's possible but that's just option one option two is to become an entrepreneur when you're an entrepreneur you have no limitations and you have an abundance of wealth there's nothing stopping you to how much money you want to make so for example let's just say you're a nurse and you're a nurse and you're getting paid thirty dollars an hour okay no matter what you do that's your cap you're not making more than thirty dollars an hour you're not gonna make more you could try to work as much more overtime and get more hours but you're still capped at a certain point that you can never really push through that threshold and even if you decide to bump up your position get a raise go become a doctor afterwards and keep upgrading your level you're always in a nine to five so even if they raise your pay to forty dollars an hour you're always stuck with that forty dollars an hour like you're still stuck there you cannot go through compared to an entrepreneur you can create your income and nothing stops you you can literally make nothing stops you like you control everything so if you say okay i want to make 10k a month you make 10k a month all right i reached my goal now i'm gonna start making 20k a month next thing you know i'm making 20k a month there's no stopping you You can keep going until you're a millionaire you can make a million dollars a month who knows you can just keep going compared to 95 which will always keep you limited to a certain price but as i said if you want to have a com comfortable life you can still have a nine to five that pays well so it's up to you and that's usually what people go to school for to get that type of lifestyle and etc the third option is to do both as i said number one was get a job number two was entrepreneurship the third option is to do both you can either work your nine to five and work your side hustle up on the side and once your side hustle makes enough for you to be a full-time entrepreneur you can drop the nine to five and keep your business or you can just stay working both forever because some people don't have that drive to take that side business and make it into its own branch. Some people like to have their nine to five. They love their job, but they just want a little bit more money. So they work that side job and just keep it going. For example, let's just say you braid hair 
that's a side job and some people don't want to have their own salon some people don't want to have their own hair business they just want to just keep making that money on the side because it's good money they don't want to flourish with it so you could just do both and you can succeed but these are the three ways to you know live a comfortable life now let's talk about why your life hasn't started changing yet the main reason why that your life has not started flourishing and you haven't started to get to this new hard-working phase of yourself is because you don't want it bad enough realistically like you just don't because if you didn't want it bad enough you would be doing what you have to do to get the lifestyle you want but obviously you don't have that drive because you don't want it bad enough so for people who never experienced struggle who have nothing to work for who ne who never experienced real like struggle who get handouts who parents spoil them parents baby them i wouldn't say baby but parents support them a lot give them a lot whatever they kind of need you kind of have someone to get to get money from or support from people who have those a comfortable lifestyle they don't really have as much drive or if you're not working towards some something or someone you know you don't have a drive compared to the rappers you hear about they'd be like yo you know i grew up in the projects people were shooting outside my door people was getting murdered right by my feet i had to get out of there so what do they do they worked their aws off to get out the hood because they had something to fight for they wanted to get out the hood so bad they fought for it but not everyone has those struggles some people live as they live a comfortable life and are okay when i was 18 i lived a comfortable life i lived with my family i was fine with it it didn't bother me at the time i was okay i was content my family loved me they didn't really ask for like much they didn't say i have to pay rent and stuff like that like I, I didn't have I was comfortable and I was okay so I didn't have nothing to really fight for because I wasn't miserable I didn't have no struggles compared to someone who does so because of that I felt so lazy I didn't have any drive as I said and I realized for people like us I guess who don't have that drive there's gonna be one thing that's gonna drive you to the point where you're gonna get off your AWS you know what that is your future when you think about your future how you gonna get it? Because if you think the people is gonna help you all the way to the top, you're wrong. You're gonna have to put in that work. So it's like, I, when you want, when you want your future so bad, and you have to want it bad. Because even I would say, oh, I wanna get rich one day, but I didn't understand what I really wanted, so I couldn't really, pro pro uh, you know, progress it. Uh, progress. I couldn't really process it. But once I realized what kind of future I wanted, and I knew how to kind of get there, I wanted it so bad because. I'm the only one who can provide that for myself. No one's gonna do it for me, realistically. Like, no one could give me that lifestyle. No one can move me to my dream city. No one could provide me with, with riches to provide for my children. Like, that's what I see for my future. When you want something bad enough, you're gonna work towards it. So if you can't find your struggle, think of your future. Think of you getting out your people's place. Think of you in a better environment. Think of you being more free. Think of you, what you, what, how you gonna move when you, when you get that money. How bad do you want them? You want them to be on you, right? You want them ladies to be feeling for you. How bad you want it? Okay, you want to have a big house. How bad you want that big house? Because if you're not making the moves, you obviously don't want that house that bad. You must be kind of okay living in a smaller house. Because if you really want that house that bad, why wouldn't you do everything you can to get that house? You will work as hard as it takes. You will do whatever it takes to get that future. This next section is basically going to be like the steps that you really need to take for your life to change we discussed why it hasn't been changing but now that you realize why let's discuss the steps to really get shit going for one you have to understand self-discipline with self-discipline it's never something that you want to do it's something that you need to do do you hear the difference do you hear the difference you don't want to do it at all you do not want to do it but you have no choice but to do it because it's going to change your life and only you can tell you what to do. You need to love yourself so much to make whatever changes you need to make, literally. Like, if you truly love yourself, why would you not do what's best for yourself and your future self? You obviously don't love yourself that much. How, Cause how you, how you gonna let laziness take over you and you think you love yourself? You don't love yourself cause you're lazy. You're just sitting here laying on the bed. Like, what's wrong with you? And you say you love yourself? You could have been going to the gym. If you love yourself, you would do things to take care of your body. But obviously you don't love yourself that much. If it was somebody else, you would do anything for them. If you love your kid, you would do anything for your kid. So why don't you do anything for yourself? Half of y'all be moving mountains for these niggas. Y'all would be saving up your coins to buy for niggas. But y'all not saving up your coins to invest in yourself. Sprinkle, mother sprinkle. You have to be hard on yourself like you're not you. It's literally someone else. Like It's like your higher self telling your lower self what to do. And it's like it's a battle. But you have to let that higher self win because... You have to get it done. For example, you think I want to wake up 7 a.m. every morning to go to the gym? 
you know i could lay in my bed until like 12 if i really wanted to but i choose to create a morning schedule for myself i choose to have a fit body to want to do what's best for me and my health and get my day started i choose that realistically when you was in school and your professor said this project is due tomorrow what did you have to do you had to do that project by tomorrow you had no choice so why with you it's a choice why can you listen to somebody else more than you listen to yourself you can let someone else run you down your boss will tell you be a slave do this do that do that you can work for the white man you can sit there and let the white man control your whole dictate your whole life on that nine to five but you can't tell yourself what's best for you what's going to help you and your body to go do it what's going to help your future number two is your physical health um meaning working out basically not everyone has to do hardcore big weights but just working out keeping your body fit literally working out just it has so much benefits down to your confidence it motivates you it, it shows you things that you're capable of it shows you your strength it gets your day started it helps your actual health it, ha it helps you live longer it helps your performance throughout the day to do everything in life like it literally changes your life and you should know that i know you know that it's just you're too lazy to go that's really all it comes down to and i get so disappointed when it comes to people being too lazy to go to the gym talking about i need a friend to go with you were born in this earth alone that's an, oh that's another pet peeve of mine people who need people to do things with them all the time grow up you came in this earth alone and you need to grow up because that's limiting you in so much in life it's actually ridiculous like you need someone to go to the gym with you put some headphones in your ears and go because you want it that bad because when that friend flop on you then you're gonna flop too i've been there done that where i think i needed somebody and when they're not consistent i'm not consistent if they cancel i, I kind of cancel sometimes or no you're not on the same wavelength as people i'm better than like no like you know no cockiness but i want to be better than them i want to i want to have a stronger mindset i want to be stronger than them i want to go on my own like let's go guys for real literally my confidence went through the roof after started working out um just looking at my body and just just watching it transform watching my skin glow as i walk out the gym the sweat running in my body like i just started getting so turned on by myself i'm like damn i'm hot and even when i stop going to the gym and like my body will get back to my old body i still think i'm beautiful the confidence and the reassurance it gives you that i'm capable of doing anything when you leave that gym you feel powerful i'm strong like i'm amazing and in life you take it to other things like after i started working out i'm like okay i'm a student in school but I could, I could, I could add a business. Like I start my own business, and I could work a nine to five too. Like I started, I started doing it all. I'm like, yo, I'm capable of so much. Like, and I promise you, if I wasn't working out, I wouldn't have that mindset. Also, it gets your day started. It gives you a boost in the morning. Like, it does so much. And if you think about it, there's a reason why successful people work out. Let's really talk about it. Like, there's a reason why. Not like what young successful person you know don't work out unless they're like a rapper or someone who just smoke weed all day and they just made it because they have like talent or something but realistically everybody kind of works out there's a reason why there's a reason why like 90 percent of them work out and even in sex y'all do a man who don't work out and then do a man who work out and tell me you don't feel that difference hey why tell me you ain't feeling a difference same with a female let a female ride who don't work out and then that bad guy Kiki. So see the difference. How you think Meg, Meg the Stallion got that Meggy knees? And how you think bad guy got the, the bad girl knees? You thought it was just from like laying in bed all day? Number three is to create a schedule for yourself and stop being a lazy hoe. Most of y'all have way too much free time. And it's like, how do you expect your life to change with all that free time? As I said, you have a whole nine to five. You come home six o'clock, seven o'clock, and around nine o'clock ten o'clock i go to bed like that and that little bit of hours yeah like oh i had a long day today let me go watch tv oh i had a long day today let me relax today okay once in a while that's okay as in like once a week every single day you're wasting five days of the week after work to do nothing and be a waste man then you have two days off and then i'm two days off you believe oh i only have two days off so let me relax for these two days because and i worked so hard this week you're a waste man literally you need to be working on your goals and i said not everyone's goals are like entrepreneur stuff like working on a business maybe your goal is just to work out if you said to yourself oh i want to have a, i want to have abs you coming home after work doing nothing even if you was just doing this to say to yourself okay after work i'm gonna do 20 sit-ups at least you're putting on a goal for yourself every single day making a schedule when i come home at six, six o'clock seven o'clock i'm gonna do my 20 sit-ups make dinner and then i could go to bed do, do, do. you know do something work on your goals knowledge read a damn book i'm telling y'all books changed my life you know i wish i had my books on me to show you but books changed my life transformation books all that 
and you have to make time to read it because you're not gonna you're not doing nothing all day so i understand that you're busy but you have to make time for things that are going to change your life reading is going to change your life working out is going to change your life um your hobby working your craft if you do hair practice if you do nails practice practice start start doing little things make like create your instagram for your business start uh getting clients start doing things every single day to make your life better to make your business grow something something and on them two days off if you're laying in the bed all day like a goddamn whore i don't even care if it's cleaning day laundry day my little two days i have a freedom right now i'm off and i'm filming my little two days up i have freedom i am still on grind mode i still wake up at 7 a.m sometimes 6 but 7 a.m go to the gym create my morning schedule do my morning routine start my day i just i do what i gotta do on my little times i'm free because i want it that bad i want my youtube to grow that bad i want to stay consistent that bad i have to be consistent y'all i have to be consistent because that's the only thing that's gonna also consistency is the key consistency is the key you're not gonna have no growth without consistency you gotta keep going that's part of self-discipline just imagine dedicating like three hours of your day to doing something that, that can change your life if you dedicate two hours to your craft every single day you think you're not going to improve in some in some way you're going to improve and it's going to change your life and then you're going to keep you're going to keep doing more and more and then boom an amazing thing i love to say is get comfortable with being uncomfortable because your body doesn't want to work hard your body is so comfortable being a lazy whore so if you're going to be a lazy whore all day and lay in the bed all day your body's comfortable with that so when you have to fight that demon and say get off that bed i gotta go to the gym as i said you think it's easy for me every morning i want to cry you think it's a joke it's very uncomfortable working hard it does not feel good it does not feel good fighting your your laziness does not feel good but get comfortable with that because that's what's going to change your life number four manifestation Aside from not being content, not wanting it bad enough, not having the drive, a lot of people struggle because they just don't have the confidence to do what they, what they, you know, put their mind towards. They just don't believe in themselves. They don't think they're capable of, of, of achieving these goals. Trust me, when I say I was there, I did not think I could ever make a YouTube channel. Like, I was so fearful. It's actually so sad. Like, I wasted so much time being fearful. On top of that, the power of the tongue, y'all. The power of the tongue is so important. And manifest, say what you want and put action with it you can't just say it you gotta put action behind it but do those two things and watch your life flourish but if you continuously say i'm fat i'm ugly i'm fat and i'm ugly not only would you look fat and ugly but to other people they're gonna think you're fat and ugly too i'm telling you because you carry yourself so goddamn fat and ugly so they're gonna think you're fat and ugly too power up the tongue manifest this is the last one just do it like literally just do it stop making excuses for yourself stop telling telling yourself oh when the time is right when i'm prepared when things is going this way i'm gonna start this and keep procrastinating ways to start what you gotta do stop doing that you know why because there's never a perfect time there is never a perfect time you're like life will always be there will never be the perfect scenario there will always be something to make the situation complicated and you just gotta start with youtube happy i'd be like oh my god i have to have a camera i have to have the right equipment i have to do da 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 all I need was a damn phone. All you need is a damn phone. That's all. And that's all you need. People be like, oh, I'm not going to go to the gym until I buy the, buy the clothes first. Buy the workout clothes. Find me a good gym. Um, wait, for, wait for me to have enough money to pay a trainer. Wait for me to have enough money to pay the membership. That's all excuses. Every single thing I say is excuse. If you wanted to work out, go in that backyard and do some jumping jacks. I thought you wanted it bad. You wanted it bad, but you're making excuses. If you can't afford a trainer, if you can't afford the gym right now, if you can't afford that membership, oops, sorry to hear that. Go run around your, your block. Go to the free park. Go on YouTube and look up workouts. If you really wanted it bad, you would be doing it instead of sitting on your AWS waiting for the money to come. Hey, oh, I, I don't want to start my business yet because I don't have all the equipment. I don't have the um enough clients. I don't have, like, just do it. Just start. Just make that Instagram page. Who cares if it's blank? just say hey i need clients like just do it you're wasting so much time time is of the essence time is something that's so limited we do not have a lot of it every day goes by you should be doing something to change your life if you did something productive every single day you would flourish but you're wasting so much time being a waste man starting is the hardest part just start stop making excuses and watch and be consistent consistency is the key what's the point of starting if you're not gonna be consistent but yeah so those are the major big topics and to sprinkle the last little parts that could help change your life are these next tips you have to find your purpose so once you find your purpose 
it's gonna make everything just worth fighting for more um it's not easy to find it takes time it took me a goddamn it took me a real long time for my purpose but the more i worked on all the things i had to work on as in my working out doing it finding a goal trying it seeing if i liked it doing everything i spoke about in this video after doing all that then i found my purpose i promise you it was like it just came to light like oh my god but if you're gonna be a bum on the couch after work having that nine to five depression work cycle not doing nothing with yourself how the hell are you gonna find happiness and peace to to even manifest to even get the, that good energy to come your way you speaking down on yourself you're being negative how are you gonna find your purpose like that how are you gonna do it drop what's bad for you and surround yourself with like-minded people drop what's bad for you as in the people around you that are just not giving your energy the people who are draining you bad habits smoking weed we're just gonna we're gonna enter that another day but you know that's a bad habit that's that's limiting your life for most people like most of y'all know like when most of y'all know y'all be smoking that spliff and getting mad lazy maybe alcohol everyone got a bad habit bite your nails whatever cut it out especially if it's limiting your future and surround yourself with people who are like you like-minded people people who are on the grind like you are like me i could be your friend guys but literally because i literally had to draw my circle and i probably got a damn near two friends who's on my timing right now in life and that's perfectly fine everyone else's acquaintances but right now i need people who are like me so we can grind together amen get to know yourself and get to know who you truly are and look at yourself look at your flaws like have a therapy session with yourself i think therapy is very important but have a moment with yourself reflect on your parents on your childhood who you are your flaws and once you know your flaws you can do things to fix them but you have to figure them out and you know just really learn yourself the best way to do that is to really be by yourself manifest and pray like i said manifest but prayer i don't know who believes in god out there if you don't whoever your higher being is if you don't believe in nothing good luck but i do believe in god i just feel like grow your relationship with the lord y'all like there was a point in time where i felt lost because i did not have the guidance of god like god gives you guidance you, whoever you believe in it helps guide you like this is a tough world you need what you need but you need something that's not on this earth like you need to believe in more and that's what's going to guide you i know for me as when i gave my relationship with god i started praying more and talking to him and, and asking him like what do i have to do to be the best version of myself show me the way like like what is it like talk to him you know and figure it out that's what that's what started this whole journey for me and everything that i needed just came to light so god can be your guidance and the last 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 tip is working hard and self-discipline and consistency those three right there are the biggest those are the only things that's the only that's the whole video right there those three things right there is gonna change your life that's it work hard self-discipline consistency do all three and everyone in this world who did all three is somewhere right now there's not one person who is doing all them things right now and it's nowhere you cannot get nowhere without working hard honestly speaking you're not gonna get nothing in life without working hard work hard do what you gotta do and just, just watch your life just watch your life change success does not come easy y'all so if you think it's gonna be easy then as i said maybe find, yeah find a different way as i said and if, if you're really if you know you're a very lazy person i really suggest you to find a high paying nine to five that's the best thing i can tell you because if you don't have the grind to sit there and like really do what you gotta do in life just just find a nice nine to five call it a day but if you want more for yourself if you don't want to cap yourself you know to limits and you want to go above and beyond you got to do everything i said in that video for sure so guys i really really hope you guys enjoyed that video uh there's so much more i could have said if you guys want a part two let me know if you want more details about something let me know comment it down below but thank you so much for listening i want you to guys give me more ideas for my kc chats give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe you know that would mean so much to me so i can just keep my motivation up to keep pouring into you guys and yeah i love you and i'll see you in the next video your body drive me crazy, your body need a license fit, your body are too tight to need. Anybody who got eyes can see, she just wanna dance and tease, she just wanna dance and tease. She just wanna dance.